We're going to get started off the top with this. Last night, I went to go see that little new Peter Jackson produced films, Mortal Engines. Now, you guys have been yeah talking about this, and I actually had some pretty high expectations early on. Peter Jackson producing it. It's a beloved novel series. I thought the trailers were actually pretty good, and I'm going to tell you this. So I go in to see this yesterday, Greg, Okay. and the first thing that jumps out to me is the world they created okay. is is awe inspiring. Like it was very uh-huh. like um, it was very Middle Earthish in the way that they created this post apocalyptic world with these giant cities that roll on wheels and all this kind of stuff, and it's very very immersive and it looks beautiful. How, how's the story though? And how's all that? <laughs> you know, if we could just stop the conversation <laughs> at how beautiful it looked, then we'd be talking about a pretty damn good movie. The story sucked. Oh, was it? Okay, I imagine know, so. Maybe I shouldn't say that because I haven't read the book. And maybe oh, okay, in the book, okay, fair. maybe in the novel, it's great. Maybe the story as it's presented in the novel is great. But watching this thing, on this, like the way they put it together and executed it, and it's over two hours long, but it was, it felt totally disjointed. Okay. It felt... Like it was, and it felt like a very sporadic kind of movie. It's like, hmm. oh, now this girl's here. Why? Never mind. This girl's here. Because plot. Because <laughs> plot. Yeah. Because reasons. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. And it just went on. And then, you know, no big shocker here. Hugo Weaving, who's the villain of the film, and, yeah. and the young girl in, in the uh, scarf there, they face off at the end. And there's this big reveal. I'm not even going to say what it was, but there's a big reveal that happens at the end that has no bearing on anything else in the movie. It's not hinted. It's huh. just it's just dropped on you. And you're and I remember I actually turned to Anne last night who was with me. I'm like, did they really just do that? Huh. It, it it was we walked out of theater and Anne doesn't say this often because Anne loves going to the movies. But she walked out of theater, she says this. I hate leaving a theater mad because you feel like a movie just wasted your time. Hmm. And that's what I kind of felt about Mortal hmm. Engines. Not only was it a bit of a waste of time, but it was wasted potential because when okay. you see that world and the visuals and the popularity that, yeah, that the yeah. book series has and you you can see it that underneath you know what it remind me of it remind me of the first underworld film where you're watching it it's okay. like it wasn't <laughs> executed great but when you're watching like you can see the potential yeah, in it, right? yeah. it's like every purge movie for me <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah you can see the potential there and it just didn't work out and i i just but, gotta say but, guys but is it is it so bad it's good or is it boring because i, I just the only kind of film experience I hate is boredom. If it's not boring, I can sit through it. You know, here's the thing. There is visually, there's some great set pieces. Okay. I coined a phrase with some of the latter Transformers movie that I just called, yeah, when you just got visual noise. And I said this, when you have action without narrative purpose, it's just visual noise. Yes. And there is some great... That's a, that's a tattoo right there. Yeah. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's some great visuals yeah. in the movie and some great action set pieces, but you realize, but I don't care because they right. haven't made me care story-wise about this. And so, yeah. And so it sounds it, boring. I think yeah. it might yeah, be boring. boring. Okay. I, I, I would All suggest right. you're not missing anything by yeah. not going to see this was, movie, guys. I have A-list, and I wasn't even planning on using yeah, it for that, no. to be honest. 